Is Microsoft getting ready to unveil their secret sauce in the Xbox One? At GDC on March 20th, Microsoft is getting ready to unveil DirectX 12. Now, before we get into this story, I want to jump back a moment in time. Now, this article that I'm about to read to you, this is from September. But it may make more sense now than it did back then whenever it was first actually talked about. So back in September, this was whenever it was revealed that the PlayStation 4, the specs versus the Xbox One specs. And so it was being reported in the news that the PlayStation 4 was up to 30% more powerful than the Xbox One when it comes to performance. He says, I'm not dismissing raw performance. I'm stating, as I have stated from the beginning, that the performance delta between the two platforms is not as great as the raw numbers lead the average consumer to believe. There are things about our system architecture not fully understood. People do understand that Microsoft has some of the smartest graphics programmers in the world. We created DirectX, the standard APIs that everyone programs against. So while people laud Sony for their hardware skills, do you really think we don't know how to build a system optimized for maximizing graphics for programmers? Seriously? There is no way we're giving up 30% plus advantage to Sony. I'm not saying they haven't built a good system. I'm merely saying that anyone who wants to die on their sword over this 30% plus power advantage is going to be fighting an uphill battle over the next 10 years. He closed by saying, I'm stating that not everyone knows all the facts. There are still a lot of important details about the platforms that are still unknown. Notice how he said, we created DirectX, and he brought that up. A brief history lesson about the Xbox is that the original Xbox was going to be called DirectX Box. Now, when it was first mentioned by Microsoft that there was a DirectX 12 that was going to be revealed, a lot of people said, look, Xbox fans, don't get excited because it's not going to affect the Xbox One because you'll need new hardware. And because the Xbox One is already out on store shelves, it's running on DirectX 11, you're not going to be able to use DirectX 12. And it did seem like these, these people got a boost because Microsoft put out a graphic displaying the operating programs and the companies that were behind DirectX 12 or working with them. And the Xbox One wasn't on the graphic. But the other night, they updated the graphic, and now there is an Xbox One logo. And on top of that, they did start a brand new Twitter account. They've sent out a couple of tweets so far. The first one said, rumors of our demise have been greatly exaggerated. And the second one said, game on Xbox One, so do we. Find out more at GDC. So it does appear that the Xbox One is going to be taking advantage of DirectX 12. Now, of course, the Debbie Downers have already said that, well, that must mean that DirectX 12 isn't that big of a jump from DirectX 11, uh, because they said it must mean that you can just simply upgrade it. Now, there are the Xbox fans who turn around and say, look, why is it so hard to believe that Xbox didn't plan on this all along? Maybe that's the reason uh, news reports were coming out that Microsoft had put in $3 billion into their research and development program for the GPU. And it was originally rumored that the Xbox One was supposed to originally release in 2014, which would explain why Microsoft has been behind and playing catch-up this whole time. And it might also explain why all the Microsoft people have been saying, look, you just don't understand it and we can't explain it just yet because they were waiting on DirectX 12 to be finalized and maybe the Xbox One was built with this in mind. And they couldn't talk about it until DirectX 12 was ready to be revealed. And then that might also makes sense as to why Microsoft made the hardware decisions they made, like going with ES RAM. 
Now, ES RAM is something that a lot of people have been putting down and saying, look, it's creating a bottleneck. A lot of developers are saying it's, it's going to be difficult to work with. But Microsoft has been saying that, look, Xbox One is actually a truly next generation console because this is new technology and that ES RAM and tiled resources, which is also unique to the Xbox One, is going to be huge. And it's possible that DirectX 12 would take full advantage of these types of hardware configurations. So, which one is it? Is DirectX 12 just a simple patch upgrade that's not going to bring a whole lot that's being overhyped? Or is it the secret sauce that Microsoft has been talking about? The truth is, we won't know until GDC. But it is going to be something I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on. So that's why you should subscribe for all your gaming news and information. Also check out VGN. All the important links down in the description box. Post below. Let me know. Is Direct X12 coming to Xbox One? Potentially, I guess I should say. A big deal or not. Let me know what you think about it. And drop a like on the video if you enjoyed this commentary. Share it with your friends. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.